It is now match day two we've reached in the Euro League. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this two evenly matched sides, so uh, won't be too much in it, I don't think. Austria Vienna today, and they face Southampton. Euroleague getting underway today, and this section looks very competitive indeed. Well, some quality teams in this group. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. He looks as though the manager has set up a team here. Whatever happens, we're not going to be beaten today. Does look that way, doesn't it? And uh, I hope. It's not a dull affair, this, because we've seen this manager set up teams in the past and just concentrating on a clean sheet. Here's the Southampton team for you. Oriol Romeo plays with James Ward Prowse in the middle and just one out and out attacker in the lineup. Southampton, I think they're a good side, you know. They played very well in that away victory against Liverpool. Oh, 6-0. It's not often you win by that margin, and uh, I think the confidence that they gain will see them through today. It's Ward-Prowse. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, they're in a good position here. But then it goes. Mario Lemina. And it will be a kick for the goalkeeper. Goal kick. Well, we're looking... Had a potential star for Southampton in this match, no doubt about that. Well, look out for this boy. Three in his last match, he's in fine form. Mohamed. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Strong challenge. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Just booted forward under so much pressure. Here's Lemina. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. The keeper's given the ball away. Gabby Adini! Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. A marvellous goal here. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Well, here is the goal. And the ball in the supply line was superb. Yeah, just really good timing of the ball in and the movement inside the box sticks out a leg and that was enough. So it's Southampton with the lead. Mohamed. There's some potential in this move. Promising build-up until that challenge. Christian Pulisic. Free kick given.
proper tackle that. Cordoba. Rafael Guerrero. Stevens. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Christian Pulisic. A low cross into the area. And that's gone out of harm's way for a goal kick. It's uh, an opportunity quickly to view again Gabbiadini's goal. Well, that's a classy finish to volley at home and find the bottom right from that distance. Superb. Mohamed. Attacking now. Tackle here. Strong, fair challenge. Balls out for a throw, though. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Well, he's thrown possession away. Excellent look to that attack until the interception. They're going to have to restart with a throw. Well, that was quickly done. Comes in with a tackle. He can cross it now. Grunwald. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Here's Lemina. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Gabbiadini defended well. Good play to uh, avoid the tackle, really. He could have been uh, damaged by that. To get the equaliser. That's a good clearance because it's uh, got the ball well out of harm's way. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Mohamed. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Now this looks promising. And it will be a kick for the goalkeeper, goal kick. Heiko Westermann, and in the news because speculation about him finishing his career. I mean, only he knows when it's right, he might be feeling his body. But, you know, you need to think long and hard before making such a, a big decision. On the attack here. So that means... It's a corner now, top-class save and top-class camera work here. Yeah, it was. I'm sure the striker thought he'd scored there. And in it goes. Can finish it off! Oh, it really could have been the goal to bring them level. Well, it looked easy, didn't it? He's close in there, getting some stick from the crowd really made a hash of that to try and get the equaliser.
Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. James Ward-Prowse. And we're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Threads it through. He's in. Could be dangerous. Got to try one now. And they pulled it back level. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and he'll blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. This manager doesn't normally hesitate to make a substitution or a change in formation. I think we're going to see one here after that equaliser. So, away we go at one all. Pulisic. Good forward play from them. Couldn't go down the outside, he's gone inside. And here's the shot. Well, that was so close to going inside the post, but it's just straight past the outside. Yeah, I think he'd beaten the keeper, you know, but just not got it within the framework of the goals, and he's a bit unlucky. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. I will be happy with that. Forty-five minutes still to come on match day two in the group stages of the Euro League. It's been a bit cat and mouse so far. Maybe we'll see the match open up a touch now. Challenges for the ball. Pass threaded through. Well, Prowse! Good stop by the goalkeeper. He could lay it off to the supporting player. Has a go here. Praise for trying the shot, Alan. Well, his teammates aren't too happy. Substitution time. He's very confident. Space to try and hit it now. And the goalkeeper, with a textbook save, keeps the ball in his grasp. Presented possession to the opposition now. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Gabbiadini! But it's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. And here we're going to have a substitution. And it seems as though it's for tactical reasons. Got to be. Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And back it goes to the goalkeeper. Throw in to come. Cordoba. We're trying to steer that one through. Now here's a chance. The shot's on! Goalkeeper able to make the save. He's been forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. Cordoba attacking now. Shot on! That's a brilliant stop. And that will be a corner. The referee has given a corner here.
Swung in from the corner. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. Very hard for the defending team to do anything with the ball in these circumstances. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Well, that's where the free part of the pitch is in the wide areas, and he's got there. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to... Oh, too early, offside. Defence squeezed, they knew they'd caught their man off. Rafael Guerrero. Oriol Romeo and Sims. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Space for the shot. Into the lead they go. It's a fine, well-worked goal from a team that's looking well-oiled and looking very well-drilled. They've been the better side. They've played with great panache up to this point, and that goal really sums up the way they have been playing. Excellent. It is certainly the kind of match that we thought we were coming here to see with the better team playing the better football. Yeah, and they've handled that expectation, haven't they, in terms of being strong favourites, so fair play to them for that. Southampton in front. Grunwald. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Cut out the pass. Could be dangerous. And Sims. James Ward-Prowse, cleverly done. He's in here, saved it. Corner now. Well, the team that are in front are going to try and keep in front with a change here. The player being brought on from the bench. In goes the corner. Good chance, poor effort. Easy save. Yeah, you can see the manager. He's livid with his man for spurning what was a great chance. Promising build-up until that challenge. James Ward-Prowse. Attacking well here. He's got the ball there in the defensive zone by reading the play very well. Well, the atmosphere's improving now. Now the home team need to improve. They're still in with a shout. Yeah, time is running out. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. Fantastic game, this. And it's going to go right down to the wire. We like to see this from a referee playing the advantage. Got on the ball in midfield, well read by the player in that part of the pitch. Well, they could pose some danger now. The referee's blown for the free kick. And here's a chance, maybe, this late on. It's a good position for the free kick. An example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed his punishment. He's going to show a card now. But he wanted that previous attack to at least find its natural conclusion. Yeah, he's one of our more experienced refs, isn't he? And uh, I like watching him go about his work and showed his experience there. Well, he has gone for goal. But you wouldn't really know it looking at it again well, well away from the target. No, he won't want to see that one back later tonight. <laughs> 
Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Manolo Gabbiadini. Heiko Westermann. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Blocked the shot well. The two boos around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. Now here's a chance. Had to come back into his own half to get hold of possession here. He stood in for the tackle. Not a nice challenge. What will the ref do? Keep his ball. And the whistle's gone for the last time today. I think we thought that this team would be brushed aside. They proved those thoughts to be very misguided. Well, I think they'll get a real pat on the back from their manager because they gave it their all. Didn't leave anything out on the pitch there today. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. It's just all going so well for him at the moment. Came into the game in great form.